Hello everyone, in this video we're going to be solving a nice problem from Canadian Math Olympiads. This problem is a number theory problem and the actual statement of the problem is slightly different but I just wanted to present it this way. So we're going to be not necessarily looking for integer solutions, so let me clarify that. The problem is saying show that for all integers n squared plus 2n plus 12. Actually, let me not say the actual statement because that's going to be a surprise. Anyway, so we have this problem and I'll be looking for integer solutions to this equation. Obviously, n and k are integers. So we have n squared plus 2n plus 12, which is quadratic. And on the right hand side, we have 121k, which is a multiple of 121. So, I'll be presenting two methods, and let's start with the first one. Alright, first method. For my first method, I'm going to take this quadratic and complete the square. So, I can write this as n squared plus 2n plus 1 plus 11, and this part is a perfect square. Remember, we use this idea to complete the square for solving quadratic equations, and that's exactly what we're doing here. Great, so we were able to write our expression in this form, and now we're going to set it equal to 121k. Let's do it. This plus 11 is equal to 121k. And then from here, my goal is to find the value of n. Okay? Cool. How do we solve this equation? Well, here's what we can do. We can subtract 11 from both sides. And then right hand side, we'll have a common factor. We can take it out. And then we can do the following. n plus 1 squared is n plus 1 times n plus 1. And obviously 11 is a prime number. So we can basically say that from here, since the left hand side can be written as n plus 1 times n plus 1, from here we can say that n plus 1 is 11 and n plus 1 is 11k minus 1. And from here we can basically set these equal to each other because they're equal to the same thing. So 11k minus 1 is equal to 11 which implies 11k equals 12, which implies k is equal to 12 over 11. Uh-oh, that's not good because, as you know, k must be an integer. And when k is equal to that, n is going to be 10. But guess what? We're not going to have any solutions because 12 over 11 is not an integer. Okay? So let's go ahead and take a look at the second method. So for my second method, I'm going to do the following. I'm going to rewrite the original problem. And again, I haven't given you the, the actual statement, which I'm going to tell you at the end, okay? So now, first method basically depended upon completing the square and factoring the expression, setting it equal to a perfect square. So th the problem here is the following n plus 1 squared is a perfect square, so 11k minus 1 also needs to contain 11, right? Because 11 times 11 is 11 squared. So in order to get a perfect square on the right hand side, you do need at least 1 11. But 11k minus 1 cannot be a multiple of 11. That makes sense? Okay, so keep uh, holding on to that idea while we solve the problem with the second method. So, we're going to put everything on the same side, and I'm going to solve this as a quadratic equation. Right? Okay, cool. Let's go ahead and solve it using the quadratic formula. The quadratic formula tells us n equals negative b plus minus, by the way, this became our constant, plus minus the square root of b squared, which is 4, Minus 4ac, a is 1, so 4 times this. Okay? 
and all of that is divided by 2a which is 2 awesome let's simplify this a little bit n equals negative 2 plus minus the square root of okay I got 4 minus 48 that's gonna give me negative 44 and then I have negative 4 times negative 121 K which is gonna be 484 K minus 44 awesome obviously this is gonna be simplified a great deal first of all let's go ahead and take out a 4 inside the radical and it's gonna give us 121 K minus 11 right and that is divided by 2 cool now we can pull the 4 out as a 2 and then divide everything by 2 so it's gonna look like this and notice that this is very similar to our first method so what do we do divide everything by 2 negative 1 plus minus the square root of 121k minus 11. What is this? This is equal to n. And as you know, there are two solutions because this, is, uh, this comes from a quadratic equation. Now, notice that the expression inside the parentheses is fact, I mean, inside the radical is factorable. Take out 11. And then you're going to have the following. 11 multiplied by 11k minus 1 must be something like 11m squared so that their product is a perfect square because we want n to be an integer so the radical must be the square root of a perfect square make sense but 11k minus 1 1 is not divisible by 11 it doesn't have 11 as a factor therefore this is impossible so let me tell you what the actual question was the actual question was show that for all integers n n squared plus 2n plus 12 is not a multiple of 121 so that was kind of like a proof problem but I turned it into an equation which we solved because sometimes if you don't know what the solution is it's more fun so this is not a multiple of 121 that's our conclusion and that brings us to the end of another video now before I conclude I just want to quickly run you through the first and the second method and notice that we're basically dealing with the same thing but with the first method we're completing the square so kind of like a solving the quadratic that way and with the second method we're directly using the quadratic formula but at the end we end up with the same thing notice that the critical part for this problem is the product of 11 and a number that is not a multiple of 11 and you still want those to be a perfect square and that is a contradiction or that's impossible that's not going to happen and this brings us to the end of this video thank you for watching i hope you enjoyed it. please let me know don't forget to comment like and subscribe i'll see you next time with another video until then be safe take care and bye bye